hey guys, hi, it is Brent Abel here at webtennis.com with another episode of What's the Right Shot? Hope you are having a great day so far. Let me tee up this point for you. This is at the Men's 2015 National 65 Indoors, Eden Prairie, Minneapolis, Minnesota. Serving Dan Bohannon, his partner is Brian Cheney. They are the number one seeds. This is a quarterfinal match, yours truly returning serve, and my partner here is Frank Zebo. And what I want you to tell me is what shot you would play off of this backhand volley that I'm, uh, that I'm gonna get. And I'm gonna stop it right about here. And I'm gonna tell you that by the time I make contact with this ball, it's, uh, it's about stomach high, chest high, somewhere in that area. And I want you to let me know down below in the comment section, you know, what shot would you play? And uh, let me know. Well, hi, it is Brent Abel back here with you, webtennis.com, in another chapter. Einstein doubles, smarter tennis for the rest of us. And in the first five chapters, we talked about why it's so important to be the first team to get up to net. And then we've gone through and we've detailed the starting positions and the general roles of each one of the four players at the start of each point. And... In this chapter, what I want to do is I want to, I want to sort of follow up on all that stuff that we just worked on and kind of give it some labels and, and kind of a, a way for you to think about what your role is uh, once, the point, once the point starts or as the point starts and once the point develops. And frequently, you know, the point gets to where it's kind of helter-skelter and all of a sudden the next thing you know is you got the server's partner back here in the baseline you got the server up at net. Um, you know, maybe now you got the returner's partner you know, uh, back in the baseline, and now the returners, you know, work their way up to net. And so, what are the roles of of the four players now? And here's what I want you to think about: if you're the player that's the furthest away from the net, meaning that your partner is closer to the net than you are, and in this scenario that I just kind of um, I just kind of drew up, you're the server's partner, and let's say I'm the server. Well, now that since you're, you're further away from the net than I am, we're going to call you the feeder. And your job is to feed balls in such a way that you get me involved. And we've been through this. You know, we've talked about what the general roles are uh, in, the, in the start of each point. And we, you know, the server and the returner, I mean, they basically start the point off as the feeder, Right. And now what happens is let's say that you do that. You now get your shot back cross court over here to this opponent. And now my job, you've done the feeding. My job is to now do the attracting. I'm trying to be the attractor of the ball. I'm trying to get the ball hit to me. And the way I do that is with either a fake poach, uh, is with an early fake, and then I go, uh, or is with uh, you know a standard fake. I'm trying to get you. And not you. I'm trying to get this opponent to hit the ball to me because geometrically I'm in a much better spot here to be able to end the point than you are back here. So again, you are right now, you're the service partner, points developed to this spot here, and you've got the ball. Your job is to be the feeder. And my job now is to be the attractor. I'm trying to attract the ball to me one of those three ways. Fake poach. They buy it. They hit it to me. I've attracted the ball to me. Uh, early fake. I come back. They think, ah, he's faking. They go cross court, and now I go with a poach. All right? 
That's another way that I can attract the ball to me. And then, you know, the third way is just to kind of hang out here after you fed the ball. They think I'm doing nothing. And right as the returner's partner is making their cross-court shot, I attract the ball to me. I go and, uh, you know, hopefully get a ball, a, a ball that I can knock off. But there's really two roles. And whether, you know, you're in the backcourt, you're the feeder. If I'm up here at net, then I'm the attractor. Or if the roles are reversed, you know, I'm back here in the backcourt and you've now worked your way up to net. Well, my job as the feeder is to get the ball over here to you. And uh, then you got to take over as the attractor. So those are the labels I use. Uh, feeder and attractor. And there's one other situation in an upcoming uh, chapter where both of you, there's only one time where both of you are really on the same exact parallel up here at net. All the other times, it's offset. It is offset when both of you are up at net. We'll get into this in a different chapter uh, upcoming. But those are the roles that I label the feeder and the attractor. So any comments, any feedback, any questions, right below in the comment section. Let me know what's on your mind with this chapter. Get out there, make it another great day, and I will see you in the next chapter. Thank you.